In tonight's What's Working, a woman in Mobile has started her own business by accident. And it revolves around something that many of us enjoy doing since childhood, picking blackberries or other fruit. As News 5's Devin Walsh reports, the story behind Rini's Honey Butter. I've already got the butter and it's being whipped. I'm about to put the strawberries in. When you take freshly picked fruit, creamy butter, and some secret ingredients, you get pure deliciousness in Rainy's Honey Butter. My sister, my whole life, has called me Rainy. Meredith Zimmerman started her honey butter business by accident. I ended up picking blackberries for hours. I had way more than I knew what to do with. Um, I started getting creative with my blackberries. I made blackberry barbecue sauce, blackberry cream cheese. That cream cheese turned into blackberry honey butter and a lot of other flavors. Cinnamon, which goes great with anything. You can put blackberry honey butter on your salmon. Peach mm -hmm. honey butter. Apples you can dip. Jar by jar, she has slowly built a clientele. Five-star reviews on Facebook, which is exciting. She posted pictures of her butter on Facebook. And the owners of Old Shell Market just had to have it on the shelves. It's good local product and it's been selling good. And people seem to enjoy it. They like it. They, they, they like it, so it's good. Zimmerman is a therapist at local high schools by day and makes her honey butter at night and on the weekends inside a commercial kitchen. I love for the butter to connect people. So you would give it as a gift or bring it as a housewarming present or open a jar on Saturday morning as you've made some homemade biscuits. Y'all all sit around the table and share life together. She loves knowing people are enjoying her sweet treat that she works so hard to make. Can I try some? Yes, of course. Okay. All right, so this is the strawberry that you just made. Yes, it is. But what's working? Mmm. With photojournalist Arnell Hamilton. Delicious. Thank you. I'm Devin Walsh.